Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we will see one of the major feature which was added in Java 8, which is Stream API. So before we start, if you are new to the channel and like watching my video tutorials, please like, share and subscribe. Now without any further delay, let's start. The addition of Stream was one of the major feature added in Java 8. Java 8 streams should not be confused with Java IO streams like file input stream, etc. These have very little to do with each other. Streams are wrapper around a data source, allowing us to operate with that data source and making bulk processing convenient and fast. In simple words, streams help us to operate on various collections and do the bulk processing of those collections. It also makes the code look compact. A stream does not store data and in that sense, it is not a data structure. It also never modifies the underlying data source itself. It will never modify the source. It is available in java.util.stream package. It also supports functional style operations on streams such as filter, map, reduce and other kind of transformations on the collection. Now let's dive into few simple examples of stream creation and usage before we get into some advanced topics. Now let's see how we can obtain stream from a given array. So here we have this employee array where we have three employee objects. John, Bill and Mark and how we can convert this array or get a stream out of this array. So for that we have stream dot off method and in the arguments we can provide an array itself. This specific line will result into a stream of data. In Java 8 they have added a new stream method to the collection interface as well. So if we are using any member of collection framework suppose list for that we can directly apply that collection dot stream method and this will again result into stream of data out of that specific collection. There are also other ways to obtain stream some of which we will see when we will be discussing few examples. Now let's see some common usage and operations we can perform on and with the help of stream support in language. In this particular video we will cover for each map and collect theoretically as well as with hands on practice. Now let's start with for each. For each is simplest and most common operation. It loops through the stream elements calling the supplied function on each element. This method is so common that it has been introduced directly into the iTribble and map interfaces. So we do not need to apply collection dot stream method also. We can directly apply collection object dot for each. Now let's see an example for that as well. So here we have a list of names of type string where we have added three different names and how we can use for each in this case directly you can see I'm applying dot for each method directly to the list object here. So whatever operation we want to perform on each element in the list that we need to provide. So here currently I'm using method reference where I'm printing out each element of the list. For each is a terminal operation which means that after operation is performed the stream pipeline is considered to be consumed. We cannot apply any further manipulation method after stream. So terminal means this is the ending operation of the stream. So there are two types of operation in stream. One is intermediate and other one is terminal. So for each falls under the category of terminal operations. I hope we are clear with for each. If you have any queries please do comment. Now let's see the other operation which is map. Map produces a new stream after applying a function to each element of the original stream. The new stream could be different type or it can also be of the same type. So this is as per the definition. Let's try to understand it in simple words by using an example. So this is my example. I have a list of numbers where I have 4, 7, 5 and 7. And what I want to do, I want to process this specific list using stream and generate another list of squares of these numbers. So what I can do, I can make use of map here. So here numbers dot stream and then I can use dot map and inside that I need to provide a function which what it will do, it will take one element at a time and perform the operation which is mentioned in this lambda expression. So here it will take num one number at a time, multiply it with itself and add it to the stream. So in this way first 4 will be taken and 16 will be made and added to the stream then 5 will be converted to 25, 7 will be made to 49. One thing to be noted here this list, this original list will never be modified. It will use or consume this list 
multiply each element with itself or square it and generate a new stream here so that stream uh, we can consume by a terminal operation of for each if we want to print those values so here you can see one more thing uh, for each as we have already discussed is a terminal operation but map is an intermediate operation that means we can apply some more functions after mapping it okay so once it is done we will be able to see 16 25 and 49 as an output the next operation that we are going to discuss is collect collect is one of the common ways to get stuff out of the stream once we are done with all the processing so let me just go back to our previous example so here suppose i want to uh, instead of printing it i want to store that newly created stream to a list a new list itself so using collect function we will be able to do that so let's take an example for that as well so i will take the same example here uh, the list contains 457 and uh, the similar operations still mapping so after mapping it will create a stream so what we want to do with that stream earlier what we were doing we were using for each uh, function to print those values but now what we want to do we want to collect it so for that we can use collect method and inside that we need to pass collectors dot to list and this specific method call it will convert in uh, take the input that stream and convert it to a list and this specific line itself it will return a list of integers so that we can store in one of the other local variables like we are doing here not only to list we can do a lot more operations with the collect that we will see in our upcoming sessions as well but for today as a basic session we will uh, we are only collecting it to a list and storing the data to squares list now enough with the theory now let's see all these operations in practice in one of the ides as well now let's start with the practice so i have this demo one class where i have one employee class as well with the details id name and salary and with all the required methods available in that as well so now first let's create an simple array of employees so here i am adding uh, three employees let me just uh, change their names as well okay and their salary also let me differentiate a little bit so now i have three employees inside this employee array so how i can can get a stream out of this array so using stream you can see it is available in java.util.stream so stream dot off so it expects values so what we can provide we can provide a list here which is an array so mp array so this actually results into a stream now till this point we have already uh, get got a stream out of this array now we can apply stream related methods to that so let's try to apply a very simple one dot for each so if i try to apply for each here you can see in the method signature it expects a consumer here so in this we need to provide some data which will be executed for all the elements of that stream so let's go ahead for each and let's try to uh, print it that is the very uh, simplest operation we can do so for that we'll be using method reference instead of uh, using lambda expression so system dot out colon colon print ln so with this till this point we will get the stream and after that we will be processing the stream using for each method so now let's just save it and let me run the program so here you can see it has printed all the employees one by one okay so the first part is complete so now we are able to get stream out of a normal array now let's try to get a stream out of array list or list element so for that let's try to uh, use the same thing again employee okay so m let me name it something different it's an array list so what i will do arrays dot as list so we can make use of this function and pass the emp array here okay and i just need to import the list class and that's here we go so now we have all these employees added in the employee array list as well so how we can get stream out of this so as uh, the stream method is already added in the iterable so we can directly apply that stream method to this object let's try to do that amp array list dot stream so here you can see it will return a stream of employees so click on stream and similarly let's try to 
print those uh, methods again. Now let's try to use um, lambda expression here. So we'll do emp s out emp. So here uh, these two lines you can see this is just printing whatever is there in each and every element and same thing we are doing with the help of lambda expression as well. So from here itself you can uh, you can make it clear that uh, using method reference will result into a more cleaner code okay but anyway we can use any of these now let's just try to save and execute it once again so here you can see we are able to get a stream from normal list element as well and able to print all those uh, components which are present in the stream Now with this actually, with the creation of stream, we have already seen how we can use for each as well. Now let's see an example for map as well, which was the second element we have discussed. So now what we are going to do, we will be uh, doubling the salary of all these employees. So how we can do that? Now let's try to again, try to get a stream out of this array list. So dot stream and now we can use map so map you can see it expects a function so any processing that we want to do so now let's write a lambda expression in this so employee and what operation we want to do we want to set the salary of all the employees to double so how we can do that employee dot set salary then employee dot get salary into two so now we have updated the salary, but we have to return it as well. So return employee. So with this, we are done with mapping. So what it will do, it will take one employee. It will double its salary and return it to the stream. So now we have a stream. So again, let's apply for each and system dot out print ln. Okay. So to make it more readable, let me just uh, do some formatting. So uh, I have just used a shortcut from the IDE to format the document. Now, uh, what I'm expecting is uh, after uh, printing it two times here, one time from this, second time from this, and third time we will be able to see the salaries in double figures. So just to make uh, the console look better, let me just comment out one of the output from the beginning. Oh, let me execute it. So here you can see the salaries have been doubled for employee one ID one salary is 40,000 earlier it was 20, 60 and 80 for other two employees. So the last element for today's session is collect. So we have already seen for each map. So now suppose uh, we have, let's take an example of doubling the salary here itself. So instead of printing, what I want to do, I want to store that specific data in another list itself. So let me just copy this code because this code will remain as it is. So now once the mapping is done, salary has been doubled. What I want to do, I want to collect it to some list. So for that, there is a method collect and inside that we need to pass collectors dot to list. So here you can see, we can see to list. If I just remove it and see what all other options I have, we have to collection, to list, to map, to set. So there are many options available. So, but as of now, what we want to do, we want to convert it to to list here. So it is returning a to list. Now let me uh, add a local variable to get that value also. Updated salary. Okay. So now if we try to print this thing, employee list updated salary dot for each we will be able to do that okay oh, sorry okay now let's just uh, execute this so here you can see now we have the updated salary details in another list so in that list we can use as per our requirements so these were the operations for this video so we will discuss more operations in upcoming videos like filter, find first, find any, sorting, grouping by. So a lot of topics are there in uh, Stream API. So we will be covering up those sessions in our upcoming videos. And we will also see some more advanced usage of the collect map as well. So if you like the video, please do like, share and subscribe. Thanks for watching. Keep learning.